time. Oh yes, it's the time, uh, that time again, of the most talked about show on the spot. A show that brings in prominent people from all walks of life as we get to know them better. Yesterday I hosted Dendera legend Baba Alan Chimbetu. Do check out the interview on Star FM uh, YouTube channel and also my YouTube channel as well as against your DJ Ola7. Um, joining me in studio uh, is a Zimbabwean uh, South African based apostle named Apostle K of Observer Ministry all the way from Cape Town. He is one of the um, he's one of uh, the most prominent again Muma Street Sumo to know an Ajingo Ajingo trend. And also he's been trod on social media due to the way he presents himself as man of God. Basically his lifestyle is not aligning with what people deem as Christian values. So he shall be telling us uh, why he chose to follow the uh, that path. His ministry, music, businessman and as uh, as well as um, a family man, so very panapa. Welcome to the show, Apostle K. In fact, uh, let me say welcome to Zimbabwe. Oh, thank you so much, uh, DJ Ola. Thank you so much, Zimbabwe. I'm live right now at Star FM, and I really appreciate being here. Thank you for hosting me. Thank you for receiving us. Kuno ku Zimbabwe. We are happy to be here. Uh, great. And uh, when last were you here in Zimbabwe? Ah, uh, it's been some time. Mm -hmm. uh, probably some years. You know, I haven't been in Zim in a long time, mm -hmm. but uh, it feels good to be home yeah. after a very uh, long time. Mm -hmm. yeah, bro. And, uh, you know, I understand uh, you are from Gokwe, uh -huh. however, was raised in Botswana. Mm -hmm. Do you still have any remaining family members in the country uh, that you come to, uh, you know, uh, since your father passed on? Uh, I've got my grandfather, Sekurvangu Warumumu Gokwe, and uh, he's quite old and he's a gentleman. I love him so much. Mm -hmm. And uh, quite a lot of relatives right here in Zimbabwe. Uh, some I'm not in contact with them, but if they can hear me right now, guys, the Jaravazas are in the building. I love you so much. The Jaravazas, are you related to uh, what, <laughs> that what's, question? <laughs> what, what's his name? Uh, Jaravaza, innocent. <laughs> no, the Jaravazas are many. Probably I don't know all of them. But, uh, something, Jaravaza, you know, those are one about the pioneers, pioneers or something. Yeah, exactly. That's pioneers, the name. Yes, yeah. that's what I, I'm looking I keep for. getting the same question, but I hope we are related because Canada <laughs> successful. That's our relative. Oh, <laughs> great. So you are from a strong Christian background, and mm. your father was, um, you know, very strict uh, about the word. Uh, hence, whether you like it or, or not, you like it. Or, you liked it or not uh church <laughs> is, is that right <laughs> yeah I, I want to be very honest mdarang was very uh godly mm -hmm. in, a, in in all uh his image whether it's uh business mm -hmm. whether it's uh family life yeah saga from as early as grade four because i i studied in botswana as well mm. from early as grade four vanguard to the bend Okay. You know, I played in the band. I can play trumpet, uh, a baritone, trombone. Mm -hmm. So I was actually structured in the gospel assembly family mm -hmm. uh, before moving to the fire churches. Oh. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so in a scenario whereby you'd miss church, uh, what would happen? Would you get some kind of a punishment? Well, my dad was the kind of person who just disown you. Mm. You know, he was very strict <laughs> when it comes to God. <laughs> <laughs> you won't get a sense. Yeah, mm. you won't get a cent from me. Just know that you are on your own. Hey, yeah, yeah. Hey. So, would you say your background influenced you to becoming the first, uh, the person uh, that you are today? Uh, that is man of God. Well, I'll say that uh, my dad was somebody who influenced me in a lot of ways. Whether mm -hmm. it's uh, he used to tell me, Shanda. Mm. He taught me a lot of things, even uh, being generous, being humble. Mm -hmm. You know, he, he told me that you are never above anybody. Yeah, very true. You know, so I learned a lot of principles from that uh, old man. And mm -hmm. I learned also that uh, you must be charitable. As mm. you know, I'm a philanthropist. Mm. You know, I do it on a very big scale. Yeah. Because my father was that kind of a person. I go to any time. Sometimes he would even pay people's loans and debts. Mm. So would would wonder what the So most of what I am today is mm -hmm. his character. The way you see a post, okay, except the swag. He wasn't mm -hmm. swagged up. Mm -hmm. He was a piece as over there. <laughs> and then the drop pizza. We are live on Facebook right now. <laughs> so you can check out uh, Apostle K in studio with us right now on the spot. So I know you were already passionate about music since Form 3. When you owned a PA system, and maybe you had plans of doing music uh, full time. But when it comes to the word, ever imagined uh, uh, you would be... A man of cloth uh, one day <laughs> you know even people that saw the size of my ministry uh that that came out of cape town mm. 
Those were chokwa dere because I was more like a vagabond. Mm. Not a vagabond at home, yeah. but I used to love uh, being in the streets with older guys. Mm. You know, I, I, I grew up around older guys. I never had young friends. You know, all the, I had friends who were much older, married people were my mm. friends, even as early as form three. I, I matured quickly. Okay. You know, so most of the times I would say that my music background was from the influence of the older people mm -hmm. I would spend time with. Mm -hmm. You know, so they influenced a great deal of my music. I started running a record label very early. It was mm -hmm. called Bad News FM. I started running a radio station at the University of Botswana called Trail FM, the mm -hmm. first online radio station in Botswana, mm -hmm. licensed by the government. Oh, yeah, really? Yeah, so I've been on radio, I've had my own station, I've had a chance to share hold with the university. So how did you manage to, to achieve all that? Well, hard work, hard work, you know, consistency, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, just, just being bold, you know. Mm. Nothing comes cheap in Africa. From day one, you know, yeah, that's why I ended up yeah. preaching to the colors. Mm. Yeah. You know, in some interview that you did, you mentioned that uh, you used to dream of colored people. <laughs> what age were you, you know, at that time? Well, it was around uh, 2010 when I got born again. Mm -hmm. I don't club, I don't drink, I don't smoke. Mm. And one of the reasons why is in 2010, I got alcohol. And you know, I was young, I was like only 20. I used to sleep at my uh, my father's back house. It was a seven quarters. Hebrews. Mm. Abraham loved God, mm -hmm. and his works proved. Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, but I love God. How come I'm living this kind of a life? <laughs> you know, that's how I got born again. There was no preacher involved. Right? Yeah. So I think. That is just my story. So I used to dream colors from 2010. Mm -hmm. I would dream light-skinned people with long black hair. Yeah. And then I would always wake up and say, Kuchi, <laughs> you know. Okay. <laughs> I'll just uh, take a short commercial break. And just to remind our listeners that we are now live on Stephen Facebook page and also DJ All on 7 Facebook page. The Business Weekly invites you to the Agri-Business Conference to be held at Rainbow Towers on the 13th of October, 2023. Our theme this year is Collaboration for a Sustainable Future. Agriculture and business working together. Our keynote speaker is Dr. Shadrick Makombe, the president of the Commercial Farmers Union of Zimbabwe. Guest speakers include Ivan Craig, chairman of ADA, Wendy Mazura, head of agronomy at the Seed Co. Group, Vimbai Nyakujga, the CEO of Zimplow, and Sekai Kovarika, the CEO of the Confederation of Zimbabwe Industries. For inquiries and partnership opportunities, contact Spindiwe Mazo on 0773 216 457. Don't miss out on this great opportunity. Opportunity. Get ready for Winky D, your appraiser, DJ Tira, Alik Macheso, and Makati. Live at the Odyssey Kadoma on Saturday, the 14th of October. The Kadoma Music Festival is here. Grab your tickets at any NPS bank and Buddhist pharmacy nationwide. Let's go to Kadoma. Let's go together. FFM, flying high on Star FM. Still talking to Apostle K all the way from Cape Town, South Africa. He's here. He's uh, in studio live on Facebook. So, Apostle, mm. I know when it comes to callings, mm. the cold ones, you know, can be skeptical about it. Mm. Uh, in your case, what was going on in your mind when you realized you were called to serve? Uh -huh. Well, I'll start by saying I've been serving at a young age. I've been a head boy at school twice. I've been a president. I've been a head boy at junior school, uh, senior school. And I've always been representing uh, certain councils. I was a debate champion in mm. Botswana, like mm. nationwide. Oh. So... It comes from a, I was groomed to be what I am today from a very young age. Mm -hmm. You know, I've got multiple certificates in public speaking. Wow. You know, and it's, it's just numerous mm. certificates. So I wasn't surprised when God chose to use me. Although I was like, I'm not qualified to work for God because I always felt that I'm, I'm walking a different path. You know, mm -hmm. I had a different heart, a different spirit. Mm -hmm. But kudana, no control your journey. I lost a lot of things. You know, mm -hmm. I was running a bakery with 45 employees. Wow. One night I had a dream. My, my, my teeth fell out. And God says, this is the end of it. It was an industrial bakery in Botswana. Eh. You know, so you can say, this is the end of your life here. So my calling has been very funny, mm. very strange, and very humiliating as mm -hmm. well. You know, when people know you from the streets and all of a sudden you come and say, well, I'm a man of God. You know, it's yeah, yeah. My dad, by the way, he said to me, People are laughing at you. <laughs> so mm -hmm. I've had even my own father at some point 
victimizing the calling because mm. he was so skeptical of, of who I was. Yeah, yeah. So I think it's 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 it was very humiliating when I was called, to be yeah. honest, because of the the ridicule I received. Mm. Mm. So mm. you when you started the show, you spoke of trolls. I'm yeah. used to that. My skin is thickened. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I can say. You blew that uh, thick skin. Yeah. <laughs> so let's rewind a bit. You have a twin brother. Is that correct? Yeah. Is he also part of the ministry? No, my twin brother is not part of the ministry. He's just on his own. He's mm -hmm. also uh, in ministry, but he's very different, mm -hmm. if I may say. Yeah. Oh, he's, he's very different. Yeah, we're just different. We're opposite angles. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so you dropped out of university. Were you, I mean, where, where you were um, actually studying acc accounts? Accounts, yeah, yeah. Ac Accounting. So why yeah. did you drop out? Well, I think at some point my father wanted me to be a businessman because he was he was a civil engineer as well mm -hmm. you know besides loving whatever he was loving i won't mention it mm -hmm. but otherwise he was a, also a civil engineer so what happened is um he wanted me to pursue a dream that he had created for mm -hmm. me yeah so i did study accounts to please him and then at the end of the road i realized that this is not me mm -hmm. you know i was always into music i was always into publicity I was always into groups of people, mm -hmm. you know, like in Botswana, we had a situation where we ended up hosting Vana Kuli the song, Vana Dales, Vana yes. Kulichana. I had mm -hmm. a relationship with all, all those guys at a young a young age, Vana Vim and PZ, yes, yes. you know, the biggest artist in Botswana. Mm -hmm. So I think for me, it was dragging me out of school automatically. Mm -hmm. I was very intelligent. I am very intelligent. Yeah, I guess but so. I had a chance to actually say, I need to choose my path. And I'm so glad that I'm where I am today. I feel fulfilled. Mm -hmm. When Kafa Nasi, I have done everything I had to do. The, the years I'm now living from now on are simply bonuses. Bonuses? Yes. Really? When it comes to success and achievement, I think I've worked very hard. And for my age, I think I've outdone myself. I've run my race. Mm -hmm. So if anything, God is going to do it from here. I think it's just to say thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. So where does working as a gardener come in? Well, I think my wife will bear witness. At some point, God had to humble me. When my daughter was born, mm -hmm. uh, I think I, I went into a situation whereby because of my calling as well i had a bit of rejection from my family mm -hmm. you know that's that happened at some point of my life it was very heartbreaking i wanted to get married to her mm -hmm. at a young age because i felt like we don't want to be fornicating yeah yeah you know honestly mm -hmm. and by the way the day we went to sign me and my wife this is something the public doesn't know mm. it was just me and her and two witnesses really you know? yeah because I was so serious about marrying my wife and people didn't understand. I my grandfather is the only person who could take, take me seriously. <laughs> <laughs> how, how, how old were you? I think um, we've been married for nine years now, yeah? I don't know how old I was, but yeah, you can do the maths, you know? Okay. Yeah, so... Mm -hmm. you know i made it clear then my dad because he realized that was something that kept his attention mm -hmm. he did a very big white wedding for mm -hmm. us oh you nice. know whereby it was very massive we had people like cape town mm -hmm. 35 people from wow. cape macalads mm -hmm. you know it was so big you know mm -hmm. it was amazing so i got healed from re the rejection ah. yeah. so being a garden boy i was a real garden boy mm -hmm. so a DJ, you know, I've always wanted to be independent. Mm. So I'm someone who you for 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 ten dollars. Yeah. I'll do it now. Wow. That's supposed to okay. There's nothing too low for me. Mm -hmm. I'll always go to the bottom of the pit to prove that I can work hard. Wow. Yeah. So from being a gardener to an apostle, yeah. Where I mean, were you ordained by someone? Well, I think the moment you have spiritual power, it means you have been ordained. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. you are called. So, who <laughs> ordained you? Well, I, I don't want to say I was ordained because I, I, I initially just realized I was called and I started preaching and the church just filled up. Mm -hmm. And I told you, I was manifest. If I speak to someone, it's accurate. Mm -hmm. Thank you, man of God. My prophet has issue. And by the way, to preach to colors, they don't follow black people. Mm -hmm. They don't believe in, in what we do. You know, so the congregation is like 95% colored. It says a lot. Mm. If they could follow what I was preaching, it means to some form of uh, an extent. So I'm, I'm I, 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 are you saying you are called uh, to save for the colors? No, 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 no. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that the way they, they don't believe easily. You mm. know, it's it, like Mitchell's plane, where I came mm -hmm. from originally. Yeah. It's a very violent place mm -hmm. whereby people, uh, it's mm -hmm. nothing. People get shot while I'm preaching. Mm. I've had sons who are gangsters who murder and go into prison and out. Mm. So talking of seeing it all, I've seen it all, you know. Yeah. yeah, I've been a target. I've been pointed by a gun several times. Oh, and survived it. So how did you manage to survive all those? Uh, you know. No, I mean when you are called, the protection is natural. Mm. You know, God uh, supplies you with protection. I mm -hmm. mean, 
there's so many people one day maybe if you get an opportunity to interview any of my congregants on on on, on the violence they'll tell you hey this guy has been through it all so you are not just an apostle but you also perform miracles right well, miracles have got an extent. I mm -hmm. think God is the performer of miracles. We are just vessels that he's using. Mm -hmm. So I want to say it just like that. If God permits it, then it, I won't take the glory. You said you, um, you know, sometimes you say things, yeah. accurate things. Yeah. Are you a prophet? Prophetically, yes. Very so, much. So why do you then use the title apostle? Well, apostle means someone who's able to groom other people preachers mm -hmm. and that's what it means did you groom other preachers well being an apostle on my side i've i've groomed yeah definitely i've ordained preachers like while i'm not in cape town there mm -hmm. are people running the church my sons and daughters mm -hmm. right and not just that i've got sons who have got ministries also mm. you know and i've got sons who are actually prominent in the music space mm -hmm. who i've prayed for who i've natured and uh it, it just comes back to the to the wisdom that mm. i carry to to groom people and then the prophetic side the prophetic side is a gift that I manifest when I'm under the anointing of God. Oh, okay. So it's not really what I am. So your ministry is called Observer Ministries. How long has it been functioning? Well, Observer has been around for some many years because um, I'll say there was a time where it was launched mm -hmm. and there was a time where it was dom dormant. Okay. So I think it's almost eight years. At some point, I'll just do my work and travel and leave mm -hmm. someone running it. Mm -hmm. So however, it's, it's, it's been there for over eight years, yeah. Over eight years. Yeah. A 33 year old apostle who is a fashionista together with, uh, <laughs> with his partner, you know, I Papa, love that Papa Van <laughs> <laughs> Are you Van referred Nista. to as Papa in your church? Yeah, Papa simply means, let me let me be honest, DJ Ola. Mm -hmm. Today I'm going to say something that may be controversial, but it's true. Mm. Panema prophets, Puerto and a father. Not all prophets can father people, mm -hmm. and not all prophets love people. You know, you get men of God who don't love. Yet they have big churches or big, big uh, congregations. Mm -hmm. Then you get fathers. Fathers is someone who's interested in your welfare, whether you are doing well or not. Mm -hmm. Those are fathers. So what makes me a papa is the relationship I have with individual children in the church. You know, can I go to you a new member and attend to you and nurture you till you grow? Mm. Then you call me father. It's coming from your heart. It's not a word that I'm imposing on you. Mm -hmm. So this is what is happening in ministry. But that's an, an error. <laughs> you know, I'm a prophet, I'm a apostle, I'm a deacon, my bishop. But how do we know that this one is not a papa? I'm only a congregant. Well, that's the tricky part because in Bible. Those are quite you know, days. If right. somebody there's a there's a pastoral starter kit, mm -hmm. you go to buy formal shoes, tie, the <laughs> suit, go take a PA system, name a chair ten, what sort of fire. So, so how I mean, would you differentiate yourself from you know you know we I mean uh, with those other men of God? Well, I want to say that I, I, I appreciate the differences we have, you know, unlike criticizing anybody. Mm. But at the same time, I maintain my independence. In any, I was not raised by a spiritual father. Mm -hmm. So I am a very independent preacher who has achieved things independently. No man of God endorsed me. No mm -hmm. man of God blessed me to have the congregation. No one gave me powers to do what I do. Mm. So it, it gives me serious and 100% and, and independence, right? But you are also a papa. So you father, other, you know, but you don't have a, your own father. But do you have father to others? Well, I, I was asked that question at a different interview. Mm. And they said to me, Co spiritual father, and I've got mentors. For mm. example, I had the opportunity to meet uh, Prophet W. Magaya, mm -hmm. I think a few days ago, mm -hmm. you know, and he was very nice and he hosted as well. So I felt that in my spirit, this is somebody that can always pray for me as well. Mm -hmm. You know, that was, that was what I felt. And mm -hmm. I loved how he was uh, genuinely receiving us. Was it uh, your first time meeting him? Yes, it was my first time meeting him. Mm -hmm. And uh, I also, uh, in fact, I, I, I admire certain mentors mm -hmm. if i may say you know fathering is a relationship you build with someone over time mm -hmm. if i may be precise mm -hmm. yes you may say it verbally so are you looking forward maybe to have that uh, 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 father-son relationship with the uh, prophet magaya definitely if it goes well yes because i i but because i heard you saying you don't have a spiritual father and you know yeah yeah, what I mean is, if he mentors me according mm -hmm. to what I'm, I'm sure he can do, mm -hmm. I might consider it in due time. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying, because I, I simply love the man, mm -hmm. and I love what he's achieved. And uh, obviously, the way he received us was mm. very nice and generous. Yeah. So I, I've got good things to say about him and his ministry as well. Oh, okay. Great. Criticism aside. Uh, criticism aside. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but do you have some criticism, you know? No, uh, from my end. Uh, yeah? No, 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 I don't. Because he prayed for you? No, 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 no. If if I had, I wouldn't go to him in the first place because mm. I'm that kind of a person. I don't budge. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, <laughs> that's what I can say. <laughs> if I don't like something, I'm not attending to it. Yeah. So I went there genuinely because I felt like I want to be there. Oh, I see. Yeah. So are you like other papas, you know, who conduct one-on-ones, you know, on payment, of course? Well, there was a time in my church whereby I would have a one-on-one, Dr. Pinda na seven, mm. with my wife, and we're there like uh, one-on-one, one-on-one for free. Mm-hmm. Then we realized that not everyone is genuine kuya for one-on-one. Um, atu papa wa chufu. All right. Eh, antu ya chema, but asinga chemi fu. Right. What when out, madam, man is tired. Pretending. Yeah. We, we've, we've, we've been, you know, in church, you get to see the worst of the worst and the best of the best and the richest and the most influential. Yeah. yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. So. I've seen it all. So the reason why most pastors, if I'm speaking for them, yeah, we, we may define a lot of things with you in that swag, but mm. when it comes to reality, DJ mm. Ola, mm-hmm. most preachers that are out there, they're only charging one-on-one to, to create a system of the serious must come, okay. the jokers out. Mm-hmm. But uh, you, you, you don't charge? It depends on the scenario. There are people who are not always charging, who are not always because those are other people who sing it. But uh, how then do you know which we are in a I was DJ DJ in church in a church we are in church in a lagoon dear but this is talk about three one one two Q I was panel sister you go to want to have a fire from the door to not Holy Spirit to talk about you attend at your own risk and at your own risk okay so but apostle teach your money life to you mimi yeah that you are constantly attacked for my my tithe it is safe to teach you. I think one thing that Christians need to understand at this point is you mm-hmm. can't change someone that people love mm-hmm. and you can't change the opinion of that person in their sight. Mm. It doesn't come cheap. Okay. You can't change that. <laughs> right. Like you know, you said something in I caught. Yeah. Uh, what you mentioned in an interview, I yeah. caught. Mm. You said there are certain vehicles that I can't drive mm. uh, to church mm. uh, because of stigma. Cross mm. court. Yes. So from what I've just read, also, mm. I could my congregants or something like that. DJ, mm. in any I've always said Africans we must mature. Anti mon, even pastation pana ba meme tishanda. Anti di, mo po amari zenyo. Muka ita wama interview zenyo arukun akizavano. You get promoted, mm-hmm. right? At some point you get promoted, even maybe financially as well mm. or influence. Mm. What's wrong with a man of God growing from the bottom and receiving from people that is loving and praying for, genuinely fasting for, and then they bless him. My son can come and say, Apostle, okay, I want to buy you a car. Mm-hmm. He shouldn't offend the next guy. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. So the, the African culture is wrong. Mm-hmm. Right. Preachers are people that start just like everyone else from mm. the ground. Right. We right. start we start broke. I, you won't believe it. I've been with in a in a tent which you would spit on if you saw it. Serious. For days I mm-hmm. started from the ground. Mm-hmm. You know, me and my wife we used to stay in a one room where we were using a bucket as a toilet. Yo. Yes. We mm-hmm. used to stay behind a curtain sharing a room with multiple families. Mm-hmm. So we come from the bottom, we know how to suffer. Mm. You know, I used to cook net twenty five cents. You just out my get us at Zime. Net twenty five cents. Yes. With my get us at Zime, I would cook fast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know what? So then, why avoid driving certain cars if okay. you have nothing mm, to hide? Mm, mm, mm. Okay, let me say mm. this: people have got a limit of what you must do as a man of God, mm. how you must succeed. And when I'm a man of God, I told you I want to I'm a man of God who buy a Rolls Royce, <laughs> right? That's yeah. his personal preference, and he can afford it. Mm-hmm. There's a prophet who said, "I, I, I, I buy what I can afford." Mm-hmm. It seemed like a joke, but that's the reality of it, mm-hmm. right? You just decide, with, okay, because I've got people who don't love well for me, mm, mm. who don't love me to prosper, yeah. let me keep away my success okay. and keep it to myself and enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> so you're actually doing it to please them? Yeah, I think it's more like, <coughs> let me respect your space since you don't want me to prosper <laughs> right. while I enjoy my prosperity without you. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Without you. Yeah. Okay, so as Christians, you know, we have visioned in, uh, in our minds uh, how men or women of uh, of cloth, you know, should dress, <laughs> talk, eat, drink, drive, etc. So, therefore, whenever we see Van Vemwe Apostle uh, doing the opposite, you know what he's always yes, saying. Yes. So, your lifestyle doesn't align uh, with our pictures of our tent. Mm-hmm. How do you respond to that? Uh, there's a prophet called Prophet Hubert Angel. Yeah. I've, I've, I've spoken to him before, personally. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When they came na prophet shepherd bushiri vaka mm. miracle money one vaka nets vaka ta imba father not men of god vaka no zara today they go to any country and fill up mm-hmm. so critics don't change what we stand for 
right? Mm -hmm. Inina, I'm a fashion person from the background of my life. Yeah. I started like that. I've always been into fashion. Mm -hmm. I've been into music. I've been an entrepreneur yeah. and so many other things. Mm -hmm. So where am I going now? If I'm expressing myself, it mustn't really affect you. Mm -hmm. Go to a different church so you can be comfortable. Don't force your heart uh -huh. to go where you're not welcome. Yeah. So your wife, Queen Anne, mm. is referred to as the wife of an apostle. Mm. Yet her hairstyle, makeup, you know, uh, that is her eyelashes, <laughs> chi -chi -chi, and long nails, you know, portray Munu Munika ladies of the night sometimes. You know, uh, that is according to the people's opinion opinion on social media by the way so what do you make of this okay apostle D dj ola i'll yeah. be honest with you i mm -hmm. love that you are, you are you are straight to the point exactly we are young people mm -hmm. right me and my wife we are very young people takata nga chita masutu mwana suti ya maga pera na yo dj ola right ndiyotu wa nema suti anu anu kunda eva nwa vosu ando zia exactly if you enter my closet you'll be shocked at the mm. suits and ties i carry mm. but they don't work for our generation mm. they don't work Right now, if you look around the churches that are big, Taraimono to youth, Chaycha, Yaga Kwana, right? Vanga and him cut. Moenda Kuma Shwede, Gunego Chirira, Gujifari, Wako, and Haku de Rador, Vaga Fegas, who says no fake one youth, right? So we can't use a system that was used long ago mm -hmm. to empower our generation. So are you saying, uh, hair putting uh, those uh, long nails, uh, eyelashes is now the new generation? In fact, I'm saying I want her to maintain her youthfulness until she's tired of it. Mm. Then when we outgrow this stage, you won't see us like that. Mm -hmm. It's as simple as that. Okay. There's a time you go we don't want to be bound by church principles. You go to church, you go to you go to famous, Jesus. Because that's what's happening. Church you go famous, and there are a lot of people they admire being apostle, okay? But what about Shaman? You go to church and go say, "Pana patu, I need change." You are not going to see. I know what I. I'm going to change. This is what I'm going to do. So out of the fake, I'm cutting my face. Right. Change him, cut him, tie. Right. But you mean you are able to express yourself? No. I can go judge on those and these. DJ, and you guys want to go and have an old gando to garage fake as well. Right. It's my age group allows but me. But when church is doing that, I remember my age is um there are all right. All right. My fundis, my my long nails, my fundis. All right, DJ. Those are true. Sorry, but as one church is is where the church is going to go my iPad. And uh -huh. this. Apana mna nopi na mchechi ne bai biri zaku darasi yazi. Inde ndoto ne phone yangu. Pastor kati Genesis ndoto manya ne phone. Ipapo. Right. Pane ma pastor utu waku preacher ne dread. Dread jero jero waka toroa dread ne ma earrings. Mchechi waka zara kutipa. Pana wajito cha I give my life to Christ. And it is generation waka change. Is yes DJ. Jesu wano ya ni donge riku mchechi waka wana. Akuna. Anto chaka wa mota ya nani ino mira mira ma GD6 ya mazo wana. Ya nangu pita yana defender nyo wana. Yana defender. Yangu mchechi ya yungu wana Jesu wa shu Okay, we are live on Facebook talking to Apostle K all the way from Cape Town, South Africa. So, Queen Anne, this question is directed to you. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah. So, does your congregation refer to you as Mama? Yes, of course. Really? Yes. So, what does your congregation say about the way you dress? Oh my God, they love it. Uh huh. They just love it. They think, yeah. Our mother is a slave queen. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> but but do you have any calling yourself? Because these days, you know, as long as your husband is a man of God, automatically, you know, mm -hmm. the wife becomes a prophetess also. No, 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 no. I don't have any calling. Mm -hmm. I don't want to lie to you. I'm just, you know, <laughs> a wife. Just, just an a wife? ordinary wife. Mm. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but anyways, you know, so mm. what, what do you say to the critics, you know, uh, would always troll you on social media because of your, mm -hmm. I mean, your, <laughs> your, 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 your those long nails, by the way. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> like, like Cardi B. Yes. 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 You know what? I don't always respond. Uh -huh. This is who I am. Right. I'm still young uh -huh. and I want to be unique. This is what I love. My long lashes, my long nails. I'll you die my if I this. don't have those long lashes. I'll <laughs> literally die. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what about the lashes? Can you see the eyelashes? Oh my god! Yes, can you just remove the glasses a bit? <laughs> oh my god! Jeez! <laughs> Woo! Yeah, yeah. So, are you inspired by Cardi B? No, yeah. not at all. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, I think I'm very unique. Uh -huh. So, this is what I love. Maybe Cardi B. <laughs> You see it from me. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So do, do you wash clothes sometimes or you just put it uh, in a washing machine? Yes, washing machine is there. Okay. Yes. How about eating now? Huh? Don't, don't you struggle? No, 
I use fucking knife. Fucking I'm a knife? Famous. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. 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 But, 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 but how do you handle, I, I would like to know mm. how you handle, you know, harsh comments, the negativity thrown at you on social media. I don't, it doesn't really bother me mm -hmm. as long as I do what I love, mm -hmm. as long as I feel good about it, yeah. I'm okay with it, mm. you know. That's all I can say. Wow. Mm -hmm. So are you the one like uh, in charge of the, you know, finance side of things at your church? <laughs> like, no, not at all. Like collecting the time, tax <laughs> collector? No, no, not at all. <laughs> oh my God. As not at all. Yeah. Okay, no, that's interesting. That's interesting. Yeah. So how are you fighting your time here in Zimbabwe? It's it's very nice. Mm -hmm. Like Harare is very nice. Yeah. I like the vibe in here. People are so busy, you know. Mm -hmm. I just love it. You just love that. Mm -hmm. Great. So now back to you, uh, Apostle. Mm. You have plans of opening a church here in Zimbabwe. Mm. You know the Swag Church. Mm. You know Swag <laughs> Church. <laughs> Apostle, are you rebranding now? Are you rebranding? I think uh, this, the word swag means uh, good looking. Good looking. When we, when we, when we use uh, simple English, mm -hmm. swag is what I would say. Right. Muharare, I've seen, you know, people in Harare like to flaunt their lifestyle. Mm. Believe me. I mean, look at the cars in Harare. I've been to a lot of cities. Guys are driving new cars here. Mm -hmm. You know, guys are, are, are moving around in, in Porsche cars. So it simply means they are swagged up. Mm. So this is the best city to have a swag church. <laughs> Muharare. <laughs> Muharare akurarui. But gang, excuse the church here. No, no, no. Let me say this, DJ. Uh -huh. This is to the whole country. In Indrimu, you took one and three pulpit. I take God very seriously. Okay. Very seriously. But the name of the church is not, aye, aye, aye. not sounding me, serious. No, let me be honest, uh, DJ. Uh -huh. Mona Pagoyama Church Agwanda, Vana Zayoni, Vana Postori, Vana. Right. It's about what the church is representing. Be, be, at the same time, those names are in what? In the Bible as well, Zion, you know, from the Bible, Zion. <laughs> but swag, where, are no, you, where no. did you get that from? Okay, I think most of the people, the word swag is Apostle West Swag. You know, <laughs> people always say, ah, Apostle West Swag. You know, whenever, Nyangwe Kuno Kumuzimba, mm -hmm. like talking to my manager, my PR team, I'm with him in, in, the, in, the, in the room right now. Yes. They will say, Apostle Swag, how far? <laughs> <laughs> so, so we might as well call it the Swag Church in the sense that it's a church for casual wear, uh -huh. right? Young people right now, I don't want to church, to be honest. We can not buy pambare pepper. We can below 40. We miri not easily. Unless we are not Mozaki, I go not marry. I never run to poor. I never Mozaki. I don't Jesus. Why is that so? It's just how the world has become. So in our days, what we are trying to do is we're mm. trying to teach young people that look, you can be fashionable, mm -hmm. you can be intelligent and bright, even professionally successful, mm -hmm. but there can be room for you, mm -hmm. right? Young people can go run a dread drag. Not to be no garat, but so I should go run mad. We are not going to wear shoes. We are not going to wear shoes. We are going to wear shoes. What we are dealing with is the heart. People mm -hmm. must love. And this is something that I want to say. Mm -hmm. we, we are dying as Africans because there is no love. Mm. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. you know, so, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. so I want to, 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 to finalize and just give a, a short background of what we are doing with the Swag Church. Mm. We are actually playing modern uh, gospel music mm -hmm. at the Swag Church. Modern gospel music. Yes. That's like hip hop style. Not necessarily hip hop. It uh -huh. can be hip hop. It can be R and B. As mm -hmm. long as it's glorifying God. Okay. Yes. I think when we church it, it a jero to marano na matwa chitambura chisat chichema, and God is a glorious God. Mm. So we don't want to we want to break that kind of a notion. Mm -hmm. We can even have a, a, a swag church whereby modern gospel music is being sung and played. Mm. Right. Number two, we want to have a business network in the ministry. So we can have a chita zwe supplies. In our congregation, we are mm. actually linking you up with someone who can supply your business, mm -hmm. something like that, mm. that you are looking for. Okay. So it's going to be a hub that empowers young people. Most of my sons have bought cars, not one, not two, not three. Mm. Most of them have achieved so much mm -hmm. because of my mentorship. So I want Zimbabweans to give me a chance and see if I'm as smart as I think I am. Number two, I want them to, to realize if God really is using me. Mm -hmm. So when we open this thing, there is no need to talk. Let's see what happens. But I, I, are you not using your, you know, your debating skills from the high school? Your those certificates you're talking about, <laughs> DJ, to convince people. Look, DJ, it doesn't really matter. What matters is what are we achieving in the life of men, uh. right? You, you, you are gifted. Mm -hmm. Right now, you are empowering a whole nation with your Star FM mm. as a DJ, mm. and you're getting known all over the world. So that's God given. Mm -hmm. So if it's God given, who can say you have a debate? Mm -hmm. It's God given, it's my grace. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I can do. Yeah. Okay, Apostle. In the book of uh, First Corinthians, uh, Corinthians uh, 6, verse 19 to 20, mm. it reads, 
do you do you not know that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit mm. who is in you whom you have received from God mm. you are not your own mm. you were brought at a price mm. therefore mm. honor God with your bodies mm. so in reference to the verse I've just read mm. you know many change uh, many change how they look mm -hmm. be it light skinned mm -hmm. uh, you know skin lightening uh, tattoos and uh, so forth uh, uh. isn't that a way of shaming God's creation? Well, I think Inina hits the gym. You know, this is not my real body. Mm. I'm, a, I'm a person who's into lifestyle. I do a lot of green tea. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, I'm just into physical fitness. Yeah. <laughs> so there's a lot of changes you can do. Mm -hmm. Inina, I always feel that what is disturbing us as Africans is the outside look mm -hmm. and not paying attention at the inner look. Mm -hmm. So I've also broken out from that notion which I need to portray a certain image for you to approve me. Mm -hmm. So I feel that if I'm serving God, God has been blessing me, mm -hmm. God has been keeping me, God has been lifting me, and I am where I am because I pray. Mm -hmm. Because in total, mm -hmm. uh, that's why I keep emphasizing that I grew up in a Christian family. Mm -hmm. I've raised colors to serve God. Some have stopped drugs. Mm -hmm. Some have quit a lot of things. No, it's not Lisa. Mm -hmm. People who murdered others are now born again. Mm. How am I achieving that if God is not with me? But people always criticize you, uh, Apostle, for bleaching your skin. Uh, uh. Why do you bleach your skin in the first place? Okay. I think this question has been asked over and over again, and yeah. the answer will remain the same. Mm -hmm. My mm -hmm. wife runs a beauty product uh, supply chain, right? Right. And it's, she's supplying a certain class of people. Mm -hmm. When she started it, we just wanted to test out her product. Mm -hmm. This is how I got into it, right? Oh. Into skin treatment. Let me tell you. Yeah. People think it's mm -hmm. all about... Uh, a, a certain way of doing it. Mm -hmm. There are so many ways. There's injections, mm -hmm. there's IV drips, right. there's creams, there's mm -hmm. tablets, there's glutathione drips, mm -hmm. there's IV treatments. There's so much happening. We're mm. now in a modern world. Yeah. Right? Uh, so my journey started by supporting her brand, mm -hmm. to be honest with you. Yeah. Yes, I never thought of it on my own and God be mm -hmm. my witness on this. Mm -hmm. So until my wife said, okay, let's do this and sell this thing. Mm -hmm. And her products are doing very well because we both are in it. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't worry about that. So in, in other words, is she the one maybe who then... Well, it, 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 it's, I can't say she convinced me, but mm -hmm. I wanted to register my support for what she's doing. Oh. And I didn't find it as destructive to me in any mm -hmm. way. As mm -hmm. you can see, I'm still a post okay. Mm -hmm. I'm still doing what I do. Right. And she's still winning, I'm winning. So it doesn't really affect... DJ Ola. But Let me tell you. my girlfriend six And Yes. So God looks at your heart. And this is support. But I want to tell you that the trolls always find a way of pinning you over small issues. Right? Chikuru munu wekuti indo samari. I know God. God. I love God. That's but, what but, but, but would you encourage other, you know, uh, men to bleach? I'm not saying men, but it's up to how you feel about yourself. Mm -hmm. If you like it, then do it. If mm -hmm. you don't, don't do it. Mm -hmm. No one must force you. No one must swindle you. No one must tell you what to do. A pana wana cheche. Pana wosa vakuru. Yes. My friends can drink. My management team. But I don't judge them. It doesn't affect me. Ina disku suta kaini. Yes. 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 Yes, yes. You see, and then you know, and so the she she injection. I got I cannot team my appearance. Cannot disorder that. I respect that space. Oh. So until they ask me, Apostle, I wanna look like you. Mm. Then I'll ask you, is it something you really like, or you're following what I'm doing? Yes. If you like it, go for it. Mm -hmm. But don't follow what I'm doing. Oh. You know, those outie canapani ma repercussions. Diango. Sometimes you wanna do it, you can't even deal mm -hmm. with the trolls. Yes. So stay away from it. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So let's talk about music. Mm. You are a rapper mm. who owns a record label. Tell us more about that. <laughs> well, uh, as you can see, my wife and I were wearing Apostle K records. Mm -hmm. You know, I've, I've had the first radio station, like I said, when I was very young. Yes. And uh, so many things I've been doing musically. So this record label, Taka established our Cape Town to mm -hmm. bless young Zimbabweans and young Capetonians, right? 
But as we speak, we've got a fully fledged studio and mm -hmm. equipment and so many connections to very big channels on DSTV. Yes. Your channel, oh, your Trace Africa, your One Gospel. Mm -hmm. We literally, as a record label, are capable of going on those uh, channels, channels yeah. at the snap of a button. <laughs> okay. Right? Mm -hmm. Because of the quality we're bringing out over the, air, the years and the production team we have. Mm. So we are bringing that studio to Harare very soon. Okay. So that this studio, Apostle OK Records, is not serving me. Mm. It may carry my name, okay. but it's servicing the needs of young Zimbabweans. Is it just the, just the gospel music or it's just mixed? No, with me, I think um, I listen to different kind of music. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you why. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to be So I'm a modern man of God. I understand mm -hmm. the times and the seasons. I'm not going to be a good person. 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 <laughs> to see how it was far it out, you, know. you know, back in the days at church, you were part of uh, a band which obviously, you know, sang gospel songs. Mm. Why did you choose to follow the hip hop path? Uh, I would say that hip hop allows you to express yourself much more in words, mm -hmm. whether it's a gospel song or it's a secular song or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. If you notice my music, I don't curse, I don't swear, yeah. and I don't bring naked women onto the screens mm -hmm. to twerk, if I may use that word, yeah. right? Because of the certain level of self-respect I carry for me and my wife. Mm -hmm. And also right? the, na the name Man of God. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So so while I'm doing what I'm doing, I'm also having that conscience of saying, okay, this is the limit, this is mm -hmm. where I draw the line. Yeah. The most important thing about being a man of God is not listening to people's opinions, mm. but knowing where to draw your line. Great. So this is something I've mastered over the years. Mm. You know, Panes Yeah, very true. Yes. Very true. My extremes. Yes. Nenuam Darangwa Richi Mukuva and this is in a piercing pa patang and tanga parts are shokara marim darga um panazo it has too much uh tambum tendira but as okay. That's what I'm saying, DJ. That's what I'm saying, DJ. I, I get you though. You know, yeah. I see you have a number of uh, songs. Them uh, amongst them uh is uh Usabaiza, mm. uh Ride or Die, mm. amongst others, you know. Mm. How is the music side coming along? Well, I think uh, Apostle K is one of the growing artists uh, right now in the Southern African belt. Mm -hmm. And uh, I would say because of my brand, mm -hmm. you know, one thing people don't understand, there's Apostle K, the, pro the prophet mm -hmm. or the, 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 the man of God. Yeah. Then there's Apostle K, the brand. Mm. Go for this one. This is the level I'm going to. I'm not just a man of God. I'm a brand. Mm -hmm. And my wife is a brand independently. Yeah, so we're yeah, there to push yeah. brands. Right now, mm -hmm. I had a contract in Botswana. They said, look, we want you to advertise hotels with us, even in Kasani tourism. Wow. So that's something different that I'm about to go into. Mm -hmm. when, I, when I go back mm -hmm. to Botswana, I'll be busy with tourism. Yeah, so if you see yeah. me advertising brand Botswana, don't be surprised because Muzimba <laughs> Auti Ratsa say, no. <laughs> Funny more opportunities and nobody because I'm a brand. Beg, beg, DJ, beg, Rachel, and Gary Ritchie. So, do you have any artists signed under your record label? Well, at the moment, we have discarded our artists because of the rebranding that we are doing in Harare. Mm -hmm. So, while we are preparing to launch in Harare, we are going to start a new brand with new artists. Mm -hmm. I want to engage certain mindsets. I've realized Harare has got very serious people, by the way. Yeah. I've realized that they're intelligent people and would like to engage as much as we can in terms of professional people to, to, to support what we are doing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. So it's time to empower each other. And then I'm open for business. Mm -hmm. I would love to, to stand with Zimbabweans. Yeah. And I love Zimbabweans. There's no issue at all. You know? Uh, yeah. And mm. uh, uh, Apostle, you mm. mentioned that your father was someone who had, uh, you know, a helping hand. At times, you would uh, wake up more close, but they are all part of the family. <laughs> yeah, and it. I must say, you know, that is not easy at all. You know, didn't make, uh, didn't that make you feel as if uh, you are being replaced? Wow, that's a good question, DJ. I think my daughter is the one who has that problem. Because mm. in any good father, and youngsters, they run out and exactly. hug me. My daughter will be asking the mom, Mommy, does they still love me? Uh -uh. So in my case, yeah. I just loved people. Don't, 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 I don't want to lie. I don't pretend to love people. Yeah. One of the things about Apostle K, mm -hmm. I'll tell you. Exactly. I've got space for you mm -hmm. in my heart, and it's not even a joke. Mm -hmm. So I allow people to disappoint me, mm -hmm. then I know who you are. Oh, yeah. But otherwise, mm -hmm. I'm not one of the people. I'm not one of the people. I'm not one of the people. Exactly. We don't need to know each other long. Yes. I just need to like you. Mm -hmm. So I've always loved people, to mm -hmm. be honest. Even my family members will tell you, my dad would always say, my son loves people. So have you maybe uh, filled your father's shoes of assisting the needy? Not just that. My father's friends are now my friends, all of them. 
oh. his senior friends. Wow. In other words, we've got a relationship like at mm -hmm. that level with his friends, whether it's business, mm -hmm. whether it's discussions. Like I took over his friends, yes. you know, in the yes. business circles, wherever. Mm -hmm. And some people that knew him are now like really close with me. Mm -hmm. So I filled in his shoes, of course. Before you go, Apostle, mm. uh, you're always with your wife. <laughs> right now, she's right here with you in studio. <laughs> and I'm sure there is no time for cheating because, you know, Tom Tom, when I got about this, so I hear you've been uh, together for the past what? Nine, Eight, 18 years. 18 years. And married for nine years. Married for nine years, yeah. that you've been together for 18 years. Yeah. What is your secret? Because these days, uh, you know what, DJ? Totem two and a Even men of God. Men of God are not around here. Adiva Kazi, Arguranim. Mm -hmm. Yes, because I'm not saying much. You, you love Wakazi. No, no, I'm just saying generally, uh, a man. I'm just asking you. You no. love Wakazi. I'm just an Agaro Raka. Not this one. I work at Mukazi, DJ. No, no, not this one. This one is a wife. No, let, let others. Me, no, 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 not even that. Okay. Not even that. I'm just trying to tell you, Guti, by virtue of being male, oh, you've oh, got yeah. hormones that are female, mm -hmm. are relaxed. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 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 I want to be honest. You know, in any apostle, <laughs> one thing about Apostle, okay, you are going to get the book of God, Zariri. Zariri, so Zariri. Genesis to Rev. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> apostle, okay, where were you all along? Okay, no, I'm around. <laughs> let's, let's, let's go back. I'm so done with you. I'm so done with you. <laughs> no, let's go back, DJ. Right, okay. Right. Saga, in any, what, what has kept me and Queen is, uh -huh. I do her wardrobe for her. Oh. That's what people don't know. Mm. I'm her stylist, I'm her designer. Really? Yeah. Anything wow. my wife wears is mm. bought by me and approved by me. Wow. I love The that. only thing I don't approve or when it comes to her, she knows her own makeup, mm -hmm. her own hairstyle, yeah. her own shoes. Yeah. So when it comes to the entire dress code, mm. that's my craft. Wow. I choose the wardrobe. I buy the clothes. Jeez. Right. Number one. Uh -huh. Number two, me and my wife discuss the hardest issues. Mm -hmm. My wife will laugh back at her and say, hey, my husband is my husband. Yeah. So don't go far <laughs> Sometimes, sometimes, can I marry or I? Exactly. We are friends at that level. Oh, I'm the kind of big. She would say that to me jokingly, but because you, maybe besides jokes, would you try and do that? My wife is too beautiful for me to lose her. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I can tell you. Your she, she's she's got poster. the look, she's got the body, she's got the style, she's got the swag, yeah. and the performance of a wife. A performance of a wife. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll leave it there. I'll leave better, it there. DJ, Great. Better, DJ. Okay. Better. <laughs> Your parting remarks. <laughs> well, Zimbabwe, we are just having fun on radio. As you can see, don't take it too seriously. Look <laughs> for <laughs> DJ. Look DJ. All I know Star FM and the crew and the cast. Zimbabwe, we love you. Tango shika, tango shika. Oh, don't shika kwacho. Sounds more like a disclaimer. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. What I mean is, you know, we're just having fun because I'm, I'm actually an, a very normal person. Yes, and it, in and some fundis we say, I'm a fundis we too strict and holy. No, I'm a post okay the way I am. So let me say this, DJ. From this interview, you can imagine if you sit and I'm preaching, what mm. are you going to learn? Ooh. There you go. You answered the, the congregation okay. that's listening. Right <laughs> that's now. fine. But by that's saying, fine. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> So, how can people get in touch with you, uh, uh, Apostle? Mm, let me give you a number. I believe uh, we've got uh, a, a, a number that you can actually, uh, for now, it depends on what you'll be actually uh, <laughs> wanting to discuss, but mm -hmm. we are open. So, the number is uh, 077. 315-5866. Mm -hmm. 077-315-5866. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Zimbabwe. My name is Apostle K and my wonderful wife, Queen Anne. It's been a very wonderful blessing to be in Harare. And by the way, DJ, this is a beautiful city. We love it. Yeah. And the weather is very perfect. True. Yeah, very true. So thank you so much, Apostle K, for coming through to Star FM. Uh, it was such an honor to host you on this show. <laughs> you had so many questions. <laughs> I hope you are satisfied. Yeah, I'm, I am, of course. I thank am. You, thank you so, so much. So thank you so much, uh, my fans. My Tabasadegutera. This is the Chief A Masha on the spot. You can follow me on Instagram at DJ Ola7, Facebook page, DJ Ola7 Star FM. And of course, don't forget to follow us on our YouTube channel at DJ Ola7. And of course, our big big handles that's star fm on facebook and also youtube channel at star fm Kwanas, bye bye it's time for the news